Welcome to another video on Powerlines Pro. Here we will demonstrate how to model obstructions. Obstructions can be used to represent many kinds of objects like buildings, bridges, trees and many others. To start, select the obstruction tool in the left toolbar. Using this tool, left click on the design to place the initial obstruction model at the specified location. You can then left click drag either the entire obstruction or you can move individual vertex points. Note that you cannot move the vertex points using the generic selection tool. You can add additional obstruction vertices in the right hand sidebar by clicking the insert after button. In this sidebar, you can also specify the height of the obstruction. Using this simple model of obstructions, you can model more complicated structures by overlapping multiple obstructions. Finally, when it comes time to validate your design and measure conductor clearances, you can measure the minimum distance between the conductor piece and an obstruction by using the conductor clearance measurement tool. Select this tool in the left toolbar, left click on the desired conductor piece and again on the target obstruction. The, min the minimum three dimensional clearance between the two will be displayed in the design view as well as the right hand sidebar. This concludes the introduction to obstruction modeling in Powerlines Pro.